As COVID-19 cases fall, there's a continued concern for unvaccinated children who aren't eligible to get protected against the virus because of their age. Now a critical meeting to determine when that may change for children as young as five. Mandy Gaither has more. The numbers keep falling. A 94% decrease from COVID-19 cases since January of this year. But the concern continues to rise for children who now account for about 25% of total COVID-19 cases in the U.S. Low risk does not mean no risk. A CDC study examined more than 200 young people between the ages of 12 and 17 who were hospitalized for COVID-19 at the beginning of the year. While there were no deaths, the data showed nearly a third were admitted to intensive care units and roughly 5% had to be ventilated. As adults get vaccinated and become more protected and immune to this virus, the virus is still in the community looking for a vulnerable host and pediatric patients fit that description. Right now, children 12 and older are eligible to get a COVID-19 vaccine. Thursday, FDA vaccine advisors will meet to discuss whether to authorize COVID-19 vaccines for children 11 and younger. What I think we're going to do with that meeting is we're going to decide what the parameters are for um, approval, either through emergency use authorization or through for licensure uh, down to for much younger age groups. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Moderna's CEO said the company's COVID-19 vaccine data will likely be available for children as young as five in the early fall. The FDA has said it'll likely want more discussion and data as it considers authorizing or approving vaccines in kids younger than 12.